Hello, welcome back. This is Omnitalk Retail. I'm Ann Mazinga. And I'm Chris Walton. And we are here at the Miracle Summit in New York City. It's hopping here. Everybody's excited. We're almost halfway through the day today. Um, and Chris, we have a really exciting guest here. Uh, we get to start by welcoming Anne Claire Boucher, the Chief Data and AI Officer at Miracle. Welcome, Anne Claire. Hello, hello everyone. <laughs> hello, hello. So why don't we start by this? This is a question I've always wanted to ask somebody. What is it that a chief data and AI officer actually does? <laughs> That's a question my kids asked to me, <laughs> and I don't know if they got the answer. So I think my role is in two parts. It's to really to help our customer to accelerate their growth with AI by identifying where AI can create gaps of value for them and to try to embed that smoothly in our platform, both for sellers and uh, operators um, in 1P and in 3P. And uh, I would say it's also a role uh, for the internal miracle workers, is really to help them to masterize AI, build their own agents, and we've shared in the keynote that now 91% of miracle workers are leveraging AI on an everyday basis, and 30% of them have already built their own agents. So that's really both my role. It's really more, I would say, to empower people to leverage AI, not for the shiny part of it, sorry, but for the sake of it and create value. <laughs> well, and how, how are you at Miracle kind of helping the, the Miracle workers kind of unlock new abilities as AI is constantly changing? What are some examples of kind of how you're, you're staying innovative when it comes to AI being part of the e-commerce shopping experience? So I think the first thing is uh, to help them not to have the FOMO effect, to say it's cool, it's changing super fast, and also try to demystify and share what really matters. But really concretely, I think uh, my responsibility is to help them to solve the problem they have on an everyday basis with AI. So first is demystify, give them the right tools to help them to accelerate, uh, and make people from the business build agents, use AI as easy as it should be okay. and what we do concretely is uh, in every keynote of the company uh, even in the XCOM and with all the exec of the company we always share simple examples of people that have succeeded to crack a problem with AI and make a demo of, the, of this agent so in sometimes it's really funny someone says before I had to take a coffee before doing this task <laughs> because it was so horrible now look I ask my agent and he's able to solve it and I haven't got the time to start to drink my coffee. Yeah. So that's part of the success. It's wow. make people, empower them, because they are the ones that have the problems, they are the ones that know they have the expertise and can reinvent their workflow. I, I could just see all you in the home office in Paris sitting with your coffees, comparing AI notes with each other. That's great, it's great. I, I, get it. I have that visual picture <laughs> in my head, believe it or not. Maybe, maybe some French pastry alongside of it too. Um, all right, so, You've done a lot of development on the platform in regards to AI, so both recently and some I imagine that's upcoming. Which of, you know, what of that in that arena are you most excited about? I would say I'm, what I'm the most excited about is all the change we have uh, on the search markets okay. and what is gonna be really the agentic commerce experience. Um, we strongly believe that Miracle, that we can build all and um, provide all the infrastructure with this new era, wow. meaning that when you look at our product, what we are doing is clearly accelerating and improving the quality on catalog management, catalog onboarding. It's also powering with AI all the commerce and ads operation. And really this is the value we can bring wherever you want to sell, wherever the shoppers decide to sell. Right. So I would say overall mm. it's that. I would say the, the one I'm most excited about is all the potentiality we have with uh, media and with multimodal. Mm. Because last year we announced uh, Catalog Transformer was our, now we say more our agentic system at, uh, where you can, you can delegate to Catalog Transformer all the painful tasks of catalog onboarding. Please categorize me this product, uh, map my attributes, transform to the expected right. value list of this marketplace. Then after maybe I have some information scrappy in my product description, but you can structure that. Um, we have achieved that all over the past year. Uh, we are not just building the agentic system. We have developed more than 10 specific e-commerce models. We have fine-tuned oh, wow. to be better at solving specific commerce tasks than you can have with 
GPT-4, or you can have just with the Google's models, right. really train them to be very good at commerce. And now we are going to integrate in H2 multimodal capability in two ways. The first one is uh, consider image as the first source of product data enrichment okay. and mix that with the text data. So now you can have better product content. And the second thing is also enhance all the images because in this agentic commerce era, it's going to be also agents browsing your website, looking at the images. So if you are looking for a dark blue dress <laughs> and it's only written blue in your description, they will use the images. So they better be with good quality. Right, right. Wow. Right. So it's like a double, double check or like multiple point check uh, to help people find the products that they're yeah, looking and for. And I think the challenge we are facing is going even further in the quality of the product description uh, and considering images as really an important part of it, important part to have more information about the occasion where you can use the product because right. definitely on this agentic platform, right. 10 to 11 words to express your needs. Right, exactly. And you have more context. So yes. you can understand that you need technical shoes for a, a marathon or a 10K. And if you don't have this information, that's more complicated that your product is going to show up. Yeah. Right. Well, um, and Clara, I'm wondering if you can give us, you mentioned you like to tell stories of how AI is helping with these, like, these simple stories. Do you have any customer success stories that you could share with us quickly that demonstrate how Miracle AI is really helping do the things that you just talked about? Um, I have one example of, uh, uh, that was uh, an example of last week. Okay. So, oh, um, all right. Yeah, very of a recent one. Yeah, of a seller that uh, um, uh, was trying to uh, face a difficulty because it was with an operator that changed element in his taxonomy. Okay. It's Decathlon that is well known in Europe, yep. a bit, uh, I think, in the US. And they were there, it was complicated because they had to re import all their catalog. But with Catalog Transformer, they were able to re unborn in just one night in four countries for the marketplace and to start to sell again. So we think about wow. catalog onboarding, like and, oh yeah, and it was able to do that in one night for them. They wake up, they say, they say this is the best tech ever. And I was thinking, okay, that's good because I didn't even thought about this use case about solving the problem, changing in the taxonomy, sellers couldn't sell anymore. But for both parts, it's super wow. great. Wow. All right, well, we're going to get you out on here on this. We've been asking everyone this question to close us up. You know, this, the theme of the summit is Accelerate. So Anne and I are curious, of all the AI trends out there, I think I have a feeling of how you might answer this based on what you've already <laughs> said. But of all the AI trends out there, which one do you think is going to accelerate e-commerce the most? Um, I think definitely agentic. Agentic. And I would say all the, the fact that, you know, the, the everyday tool we are going to have is our individual agent we are going to build ourselves, maybe. Yeah, right. Or an agentic platform like Perplexity, Entropy, Grok, whatever, Google, right. OpenAI. And I think this will deeply change the way we will express our need of product and services. And we are going to also reach to this kind of product. So in a way, it's a threat because you can say, I built for a decade, century brand awareness. So the risk is you no, no longer show up on this kind of platform. But this right. is also a huge and massive opportunity to to change uh, the game yeah. and to be less monopolistic on the search market than we are today. Yeah, right, 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 right. And uh, I think this is this is super exciting. Yeah. Wow. wow. Got my head spinning. I got some questions for you after we're done yeah. too. I want to get get your thoughts and press your but brain on that. Yeah. When you look at some metrics, if we want to share that with oh with God. everyone, it's if you look at ChatGPT.com, just in May 2025 globally, it was 5.5 billions of visits globally. Right. So. 5.5 billions when they launch the search features in their product in October 2024 they reach 4% of market share within a month in the US it's and the same market one. share as, yeah. as being just one. Right. Yeah, right. And that's just one shit one provider yeah, yeah. and First when mover. when they launched the discover product um, uh, feature I think it was one month a little bit than one month ago that allows you to directly explore product in their interface 
uh, they shared that it was one billion of product and services search per week on their platform. So new opportunities, clearly, right. but the game is changing and accelerating. Cle right, good, good, good stab there. I like that at the end, good drop. Well, thank you so much, Anne Claire. We really appreciate you taking the time. Thank you again to Miracle for helping us bring you all of the interviews here from the Miracle Summit today. And until next time, be careful out there.